Yesterday we talked about a Houston reporter named Ivory Hecker who went rogue on live TV. So Ivory accused the local Fox station where she worked of muzzling her and keeping viewers from stories that she thought mattered to them. Now we're learning what it was that she felt muzzled from reporting on. Here's some of those secret recordings released by the far right group Project Veritas. I want out of this narrative news telling. I want out of, of this corruption. I have passed on Bitcoin stories by almost every single reporter for our five o'clock audience because that's not our five o'clock audience. To cease and desist posting about hydroxychloroquine. In my opinion, you failed as a reporter to not know more if you were going to post about hydroxychloroquine, hydroxychloroquine that you didn't look it up and look at the latest post, the latest research about it. Wow. If you don't know, Bitcoin is a popular digital currency. Fox 26 has responded, calling Hecker a disgruntled former employee and claim that these secret recordings used selective editing to misrepresent newsroom bosses. So what do you guys all, we always want to hear from you. What do you think of Irie blowing up her job like she did, Jeff? Um, it's her prerogative, right? It's her job to lose. I mean, I don't think it's a great personal choice. I think you could have got your narrative out in a different way. But everyone's being silenced these days. I know some more than others. But if you have an agenda, and especially a far right or far left agenda, you're going to be silenced. Take the big ones, for example, Fox News and CNN. They're both silencing stories and they're both pushing their agenda, whether you like to think it or not. If you're on the left side, no, they're not. CNN's just delivering the news. No, they're not. They, they have an agenda to push. If you're on the right side, Fox News is pushing an agenda and that's what they're doing. We need a news outlet that's somewhere in the middle telling people like this show I feel right. like th and, does a and, good job and, of balancing and that's my point and that's why I'm going to push back a little bit on you there there are places that you can be silenced for that kind of talk for a reporter that's supposed to be fair and balanced with the news but also if you work at Chase or you work at Wendy's people not, might not want to see that and if you're representing somebody's company they might not want that on your personal page she was out of pocket in talking about that when they were talking about the heat the heat could kill Absolutely. somebody's grandmother they could that could do real damage especially to a state that just went through that so that's that was where my pushback was if she wants to talk about left right politics that's what YouTube pages for yeah first of all or, she's a reporter here, come, and when you do some misinformation here. about hydrochloroquine or whatever it may be yeah. or, sorry yes, no, yeah. hydroxychloroquine you can not just spew whatever you want to spew. There's a reason why your bosses are saying you cannot spew that because we need to give our viewers the correct amount of information. Yeah, learn what so, journalism is. That's a part of the internet problem. I'm sorry. You see a click headline and you think you know everything. That's right. That's what it is. Wow. I wish we had more time to talk about that. Coming up on DBL.